Hello guys, this is Oops Gaming Life Safety Guy here. This will be a fire alarm review of this simplex fire alarm pull station. I'll be getting into the brief history of this pull station and how I got it. So let's go ahead and get started with this review. Alright, to get started with this review, this is a simplex 2099-9788 fire alarm pull station aka Simplex BG50. This alarm was originally manufactured by Protect Wire in the mid-1970s and was rebranded by Simplex and FCI from what I can get. Different variations of this pull station come in either red or yellow. Now how I know this came in yellow is because the one that was rebranded by FCI actually has a yellow coating and white coating, yellow and white coating instead of red, which is what I find very unique. And this pull station is already unique. How is it unique? Well, as you can see, this is not like other fire alarm pull stations. As you can see, it says fire, pull. How do you pull it? Well, demonstrated in New Age Server Alarms video on this particular pull station, you pull from the bottom instead of from the top. Now, this is a pretty strange design on how they decided to manufacture this particular alarm, but, uh, yeah. So we know that this was made in the 1970s, and its model number from Simplex is 299-9788, and the model number encrypted in this pull station is BG50. So, you may be asking, how do you came across this pool station? Well, I've actually been wanting to get one of these pool stations since I started collecting. Um, my old elementary school actually had these pool stations rebranded by FCI with the yellow coating. And these were outdoors, and they were paired with Simplex 2901-9838's horns. And uh, they were pretty weathered, and I believe they still have them to this day. Uh, but yeah, these fire alarms were with, were rebranded, both of these were rebranded by FCI. So instead of this simplex logo, I had FCI fire alarm control instruments and FCI right here. Uh, which I thought interesting that my school had FCI rebranded um, horns and pool stations. And they had uh, FCI MS2s in the classrooms. Also, while getting this alarm on eBay, I found this alarm for about $15 for two of them. Now, there's only one. Well, if I go ahead and move this alarm to the side, I have two. As you can see, this one's a bit more uh, weathered away, but they, they, are, they are the exact same pool station. Um, I thought I got pretty lucky in getting two. So... Actually, with these designs of these pool stations, they're pretty unique on their own, as I explained. And they're kind of similar to a just single-action pool station, the one where you just pull down. Uh, if I go ahead and move this one out of the way, if I put this one in the frame, as you can see in their design, this one's design is fire, pull. You pull from the bottom up. This design pull fire alarm you pull from the top down it's so basically it's like an operate opposite way of operating these alarms this one you pull from the top this one you pull up from the bottom uh which i find very unique on its own uh, but yeah this one's more of a unbranded fire alarm that i have but um yeah as you can see i have two of these pull stations got on ebay $30 in total with the shipping and everything, but I was very excited to use these. Now, these pull stations do use a simplex B key. As you can see, when I first got them, they were the locks were very stiff. I had, they, they needed um, the TLC or WD-40 in the alarm, in blocks. As you can see, standard uh, simplex B key. Now... These alarms, um, 
These alarms were manufactured in the 1970s, as explained. And uh, what makes them unique is their pull feature. Now, when I got these, these did come with their original back boxes, and these are outdoor pool stations. Now that we've gone over all the information about this fire alarm, let's go over the fire alarm itself. As you can see, it came with its original back box. This is how it looks on the side. As you can see, you have your, your standard fire alarm right here, and this is the whole back box. Coming from the back, this is how it looks like. And this alarm does have a unique curve to, to it, which you don't really see in fire alarms. So I thought this is pretty unique. And this is the side of it. Now we go ahead and get our simplex B key. We're gonna go ahead and insert it inside. And you turn to the left. Once you turn to the left, you simply open the pool station. As you can see, we are now inside the pool station. Right here is where your brick rod will go, and in this case, I'm using this weird plastic thing right here to hold it, so I don't have to continuously break something and have to replace it. So, um, that's the only thing that sucks about this pool station, is that you need to use the glass rods that come with it. This one, these the two pool stations that I got did not come with glass rods, uh, which sucked, but yeah. If we go ahead and come right here, if I zoom in, you can see model number BG50 for outdoor use. Go ahead and hold it still. 3 amps, 30 volts. It's EL listed in FM approved, non coded fire alarm box. As you can see, it has your standard metal button. And uh, this thing right here is where your spare brake rod will go. Uh, of course, these do not come with brake rods, so I have to use this plastic piece. And you do have to have a screw which is kind of stripped to hold the back box in place on the pull station. So if I go ahead and zoom out, you can see the lock right here. This, one, this is pretty... Uh, Pretty dirty, I need to clean it. I haven't cleaned it well, but you can see this is the lock. Basically, do that, lock that, and you see the lock come in place. I think now you can't, but you see it. As you can see, that's how it locks. So now I'll be going ahead and taking apart this pool station to show you how it functions. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. Alright, so I went ahead and unscrewed the pull station to its back box. So now if I pull it apart from its back box, as you can see, it came with its original back box. Now this is how it looks like inside. It's nice and red. As you see, you have your conduit entryways for your wiring. And as you can see, I was talking about that curve shape to it. Very unique. So if I go ahead and move this back box away, we get to pool station itself. If I go ahead and turn this around, you can see it's fairly thin. Fairly thin. The back box makes it look thick, but it is fairly thin. If I go ahead and turn to the back, you have your wiring. So this one is your positive, and this one is your negative. And as you can see, it has the standard button right here in the middle. So uh, this is how the wiring looks like. The wiring for certain these certain pull stations can be different depending on the type you get or rebrand you get of this pull station. Uh, but for all I know, this is positive, this is negative. You can wire it as a normal pull station. And then you come back to the front. So now, if I go ahead and open it, You can see how fairly thin it is. The actual thing, the actual lever door thing to it is what makes up this thickness. You can see the actual pull station itself, where the button is located, is fairly thin. So basically, when you pull this, you pull up. 
I can't really demonstrate this because I have no place to hook this up onto the wall, but we will be demonstrating and key testing this with an actual fire alarm, which we will do with the 2901-9038. So let's go ahead and test out this alarm. Alright, now we're getting to the fun part of this review, and that's actually testing out the pull station. So right here, I have a Simplex 2901-9838 horn connected to the BD50. So, we're going to go ahead and test this by key activating this, because it's pretty hard to pull it just like this. And, yeah, I just don't want to ruin the setup, so... We're going to go ahead and test it. Here we go. In three, two, one. That is very loud. As you can see, when you basically pull it, open it, it will make the alarm go off continuously sounding the horn. So if I go ahead and do that again and push down the button, it will stop it. As you can see, I'm pushing down the button and when I let go of it, it makes the horn go off. You can even code it. But yeah, <laughs> it's fun to mess around with, but I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And yeah, there's a little bit of dust coming out of this. Gross, but... Anyways, this basically concludes this video of the BG-50. I think these are uh, pretty good alarms. Uh, very unique alarms made of... I forgot to mention, these are all made out of metal. With the exception of the uh, plastic wiring things. But other than that... This whole pool station is made out of metal, which is what I really like. This gives it an industrial feeling, durability, I mean. For pool stations made in the 70s, you know, these lasted pretty good. Um, anyways, this pretty much concludes this video. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this particular pool station, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.